welcome back to my channel guys i hope you enjoyed that intro i know my eyes are so dry in this video i tried to cry i tried my utmost best but it just wasn't i wasn't crying so if you want to see how i created this look keep on watching will need some scab blood you have regular blood that's fine as well also need liquid latex as for bruising this is what I have paper towel cotton balls cotton swabs and duct tape All right, so you will need a t-shirt that you don't want a scrunchy scrunchy to remove your hair from your face and put it in a pony you don't want the blood or the liquid latex to get all in your hair honey that will definitely damage it you don't want that okay so i'm dividing the layers of the paper towel and i'll be using that to cover my lips so that no blood, no latex, don't get into my mouth. So I'm using the stick part of the brush to put latex around my mouth. Yes, it smells really bad. It's a really strong smell. <laughs> it's a really strong smell as you can tell by my facial expression. So I ripped the edges off the paper towel and I'm just pressing that around the area that I put the latex. So I'm now using cotton balls, you can use the cotton swabs as well, and just divide them into smaller um, workable units that can create skin-like or scab-like or textured skin. And I'm using the liquid latex to attach it to the paper towel that I already have covering my mouth. So I'm now going to spread the vampire blood all over the, that area but there's something that I could have done but I didn't because I have a scab blood that is more darker and rich. Um, I could have put black paint or black eyeshadow or anything black that you have to create the illusion of more deeper because as you can see it looks pale but once I put the scab blood on it is going to look very different. So I'm putting on the tape first before I use the scab blood. Um, just personal preference, but you can do whichever you choose. It's just wiser that way for me, seeing that I get a small amount of scab blood. So I'm gonna put some cotton swabs or cotton balls. I just rip them up and put small pieces on the parts of the tape that will be lifting up. So now I'm taking the smallest brush that I own to put the scab blood under the tape. So now I'm going in with Midnight Sky from the Bruise Palette 505B and I'm just applying that underneath my eye. Now 
So now I'm going to take Bloody Rose, that's the right color, and I'm just going to add it to that. So now I'm going in with Maze Yellow. I'm going to blend out the edges of the red to let it look a bit more natural and also to create the illusion of swelling. Alright, so I didn't have any wax, so I still wanted to do a cut, and this is my this is the best I could have done. Um just I just went in with the midnight sky, just creating the area for the cut. So now I'm going to clean up the cut with the maize yellow and uh, that I will later put a cotton with some blood over it and then I'm going to do some bruising for the outer part with the red color that is called Bloody Rose. So I'm now going in with Bloody Rose from the 505B palette. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to press the red subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share with your friends, your family, share it on your Facebook. Please comment below on what you think my next video should be. Thank you so very much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.